So you're going to enter every menu item in the serving size that you're looking up the nutrition values for. And then you want to put the number one in this column because the factor is going to be one of the nutrition values initially. So you just want to get everything set up here. Now once you get this first row entered, and then you start on the second one, and you're going to put the grams in, the protein grams, the fat grams, you're going to do that for all the remaining items in there. Once you get all of these columns, once you get the, the gram columns done, then you can start copying formulas to make the rest of it easier. Because let me show you this formula here. And we know that there's four calories per gram of carbs. So it's multiplying 42 times eight. Well, aren't these all, aren't all of these in here going to be a multiple of four? They're all just going to be multiplying the grams by four, correct? I hope you understand. If not, pause the video and think about that. Four calories per gram. So all of these numbers here in the, in the carb calorie column are going to be a multiple of four. The only thing that's going to be different is the, the value in the, in the grams column. So what you can do, you can put your, put the cursor over there, right click, and you're going to go copy. Okay, then you're going to see how it does that fuzzy little line there. Okay, then you put it over the one below it, and you right click, paste. Put it on the one below it, right click, paste. Put it on the one below it, right click, paste paste okay then you can move over to the protein calories you can put it on the right one right click paste put it over that one right click paste and you can do that all the way down okay then once you get to the bottom one you're going to hit escape all right let's get rid of that funny little line okay and now you're going to move over to the fat calorie grams. Now we know that every that all these values here are going to be a multiple of nine because there's nine calories per gram of, for fat. So again you put the cross over there left click then right click copy and you get that electri electrified line there box and you go down left click right click pa paste left click right click paste and so on and then you hit escape to get rid of the box and now don't you think these calories this calorie is really going to be the same thing it's going to be copying these across the board now it's when you copy when you paste the formula below it it's going to copy these it has something to do with absolute and relative the positions of numbers but the default is if you paste the formula one below it's just going to move it's, it's going to know that you want these three and not these three or these three okay so whenever you copy and paste those all the way down now here's the good thing about the uh, the percentage formulas okay now these are all going to be the same all the way down so you can put your put the cursor over the left one, hold down the mouse, the left mouse key, and then drag the mouse across all three. Release the left mouse, right click, copy, and now put the left click on the first one, and then you hit paste. Go on down, hit paste. See, so it's copying the formula all the way, it's copying all three formulas all the way down the line for its respective uh, rows. So, if that's not clear, if it's clear as mud, then you need to pause the, uh, the video and uh, think about that. Okay, now let's go down to this call, this, uh, these numbers here. Now, what is this right here? This is a running total of both menu plans. In other words, I have two menus in here. I only have time to show you one. But I did the same thing with this one. 
This is spinach salad. You can watch my Popeye spinach salad, and this is basically uh, where I got it from. What this box is, the calories is a sum of these two total calories. And the uh, percentage of carbs, protein, and fat are a, again, it takes the total, it takes the total number, it takes this number plus this number, and it divides it by this number to get the carb percentage. Okay? Then it takes this number and this number divided by this number to get the percentage of protein, uh, percentage of calories from protein. And it does the same thing with fat. It takes, it takes this total, this total divided by that total to give a uh, percentage. And this will all add up to 100. Now sometimes, sometimes you'll see these numbers and they'll add up to either 99 or 101. The reason why it does this is because these numbers are rounded off. Uh, and so sometimes it might be a, like come out to 100.5, what rounds it up to 100, 101, or it might be 99, it might be 99.5. Uh, Four, so it rounds everything down to 99. That's you know one percent is not a big deal. So let's see let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna double click and see it's showing you. See it's taking that number, that number, J12 plus J20. So it's adding those numbers. Okay, hit escape. Now let me show you this one. Get my finger on the mouse. So look, these two numbers. E12 plus B20, notice how they're in parentheses, forward slash E24, which is this number right here. Okay? See how see how this is working? And look, here's here's the beauty about this. Hit escape. I can take I can put my uh left mouse button over, over there, drag drag it across and down and highlight the whole area and now I can move this to a corner and I'm looking for see those the four arrows there? See the four arrows? See if I move it off alright nothing but if I get over the if I get close to that corner well let me hit escape again and start over Okay, see I've got the cross. Now if I move over to that corner, see how the four of That means you can hold down the left mouse button and move that sucker. You could move it. I can move it over here if I want to. Alright. It still has the same values. Still has the same values. That's the beauty of this. So. Now another thing about this menu planning, uh, I had to make this into two videos. You're going to need uh, access to uh, an online uh, calorie counter and I recommend www.calorieking.com but use whatever you like. You, uh, you may like another site better. And you're going to need a food scale. I use a digital scale. I think it goes up to 300 grams. I'd like to find one that goes up to a pound that's digital and you want it to give you at least accuracy to one decimal point uh, to the right and mine goes to uh, one one hundredth of a of a uh, ounce or a gram in uh, in sensitivity and you want one that's in grams and ounces that you can switch back and forth and one that calibrates itself automatically the digital scales will do that you can use one of those weighted beam scales but they're a whole lot more uh, inconvenient to use so anyway as you see here, I planned a menu, two menu items, 49-33-18 macronutrient ratio. That is, that is, you know, if you eat like that and you exercise uh, and do your cardio, you'll be, you'll be on your way to be slim and trim. That is the form, ladies and gentlemen. What I am telling you on this site is the exact formula that bodybuilders and anybody who is in a competitive athlete, uh, who's a competitive athlete, uh, uses they eat properly balanced meals, good quality food, and they exercise. 
Now, there's always exceptions to the rule. There, you know, if you're an ultra marath, if you're a marathoner, you're running five miles a day or something. You can basically eat whatever you want and get away with it. But I'm talking about the average person like you and I. I have a desk job, uh, but I still uh, do my 30 minutes of cardio every day, usually every day, and I do strength training at least. You know, I try to do it five days a week, a half an hour. We're the type of people that, that I'm talking to, your average person. But if you eat a 50-30-20 um, diet and cut out the processed foods, the white flour, the sugar, the candy, the donuts, all that crap, and cut out the snacks, snacks you will lose weight and get fit. And when I talk about snacks, I'm talking about eating like a pure carbohydrate snack. That's not going to work. Every time you eat something, it needs to be in a 50-30-20 combination because that balances out everything. You need protein with every meal because I've told you before, protein does not get stored. Okay, and it about when you eat, add protein to your meals, it evens out the insulin spikes when you with your carbohydrates and you certainly don't want to eat just carbohydrates and fat together because you know your body is using the carbohydrates for uh, you know, immediate use and it's storing it and it's looking at the fat say well we're just going to stick you in the fat cells immediately it's not the fat is not going to be utilized so listen guys sorry i had to make this into two videos but i hope it was uh, i hope it wasn't uh, was helpful and i hope that you'll use it and uh, best of luck to you in your quest uh, to become fit and healthy.